that was my son Landon who turns eight tomorrow and as you can see he's doing pretty good and having fun while learning how to use a computer. My name is Mark and this is a tutorial on the psychomotor skills of teaching a child how to use a computer correctly in the beginning to facilitate good hand-eye coordination between the mouse keyboard and desktop and eyes and coordinating cognitive skills with psychomotor skills to, to learn the basic uh, uses and functions of the computer. This tutorial will discuss buttons and icons, files, file management, uh, the mouse, computer rules, and shutting down the computer properly. To start with, uh, I would suggest just showing the child how the mouse works and make sure that the the setting is on slow so the pointer doesn't go too quickly and the child has uh, an easy time controlling it. You can also use the assistive technologies and increase the size of the mouse so that the child can see it better. Uh, teaching the child how to point and click. Uh, once, the, once the file is highlighted one single click and hold down and then show the child how you can slide the file anywhere on the screen and uh, you can show the child how to open the file by just double clicking on it and then to close the file up here on the right is the red little X that you can show, show your child you can also show them how to minimize and maximize While you're showing your child how to uh, manipulate the files, you, you can show the child how to drag and drop it into a, his own file folder. Helps keep the desktop clean. When my son gets done using some of the uh, kids' art programs, I, there's 30 or 40 files sitting on the computer, and he doesn't want to throw one of them away. So he's got to keep his desktop clean just like everybody else, and, and the way to do it is to drop your files into well-organized other files and you can also show him how to throw stuff away if he does choose to throw it away uh, just drag it over to the, the trash bin and release and the file is gone and then one thing I did was I had my child Landon learn how to just mess around with a with a software program like Visio. I chose Visio and he's also used PowerPoint but uh, Visio is good because it has lots of shapes and and images and objects for the for the child to play with. Uh, this was a great way for him to learn how to do uh, just simple things on a computer and and what a computer is capable for and what it is for and uh, I let Landon play with Visio one day and he built a whole city and and had cars and trains crashing into each other and he just had a blast and plus he was he was using adult software which which made it that much more cool but uh, one thing I would suggest is is uh, let me stop for a second here and be sure and show your child how to close and save uh, one thing I would suggest, though, is to, to get your child some good learning software. And when you load that software up, it will appear here at the Start button, which is another area that, that uh, Landon needed to know. And instead of having business and school programs and browsers and things, uh, his computer's loaded up with games over here on the left. And he also has the icons on the screen, but... Uh, but this is one way that he knows how to go in and open up his games. And while over here, you want to be sure and make sure that your child does not ever go into the control panel. At, the, at a young age, they do not know what they uh, can possibly uh, do in there, and there is areas they can go in and damage your computer. And you also want to teach your child how to shut down the computer properly from the start button. 
and uh, just highlight the arrow, slide over to shut down, and then single click and release, and your computer will correctly shut down. And it's important to teach the child how to correctly shut down instead of just shutting it down manually every time because uh, that can cause damage to your computer. It's best to be sure that when you turn the computer on, the child lets the computer run and fully load. And when you shut it off, uh, you go through the prop proper uh, procedures there too, and it, it, it helps keep your computer more healthy. Another area I wanted to go over were computer rules. Uh, at, at a young age, you definitely have to set some computer rules and start by getting permission before using any computer. Uh, no food or drinks around the computer. Be very, very strict. One mistake can ruin the entire computer, especially an expensive laptop. Uh, wash your hands before using the computer. Don't touch the screen. Don't pound on the keys. Follow rules for turning the computer on and shutting down or restarting. Handle your disks and computer games properly. They're expensive and they can get ruined by just laying around and getting scratched up. Another uh, issue that I can uh, I condone is, is for parents not to keep the browser on the desktop. Uh, this helps uh, keep the child out, off the internet at a young age. There's really no reason for the child to be on the internet uh, unless you take him to a Disney channel or a kids game channel but uh, and you can avoid that by keeping no browser icons on the desktop and if, if you do want to go to the game and you're you're comfortable with with it make sure you have the browsing browser settings on very strict and and block any bad websites that might come up make sure the child follows mom and dad's internet rules uh, at this age, there's really not a lot to to, to go over, but as, as the child gets into 7, 8, 9 and wants to be on the Internet, then you have to really set the rules. Uh, if somebody does happen to instant message your child and try, start talking, tell your child to go get mom or dad right away. And again, stay away from the control panel. If your child learns a few simple techniques like file management and using the mouse and using the buttons and icons correctly, your child will quickly learn the psychomotor skills uh, necessary for efficiently navigating throughout the incredible world inside the computer. I hope you enjoyed this and that's it for today. Thank you.